Mexico has approximately 69 million Internet users representing 56.0% of the population. The country ranks 10 in number of Internet users in the world. Mexico is the country with the most Internet users among Spanish-speaking countries and is currently experiencing a huge surge in demand for broadband Internet services. In August 2005, Cisco Systems, said they see Mexico and countries in Latin America as the focal point for growth in coming years. With Mexico being identified as a hypergrowth market for equipment suppliers and receiving the biggest chunk of Cisco's investments. Additionally looking at the historical growth for the period from 2001 to 2005 we see broadband Internet jump from 0.1 subscribers per 100 population to 2.2 subscribers per 100 population, a growth of 2,100% in just five years. Telmex is the largest provider of a DSL connection. After being converted from a state monopoly to a private enterprise by President Carlos Salinas de Gortari in 1990, it took the Mexican government five years to establish regulations in the Telecommunications Act and only then were competitors allowed to enter the Mexican telecommunication market, leaving Telmex and its owner Carlos Slim enough time to extend their technological lead. Nevertheless, Mexico is lagging behind the world average in connection speeds. Mexico is one of the few Latin American countries that has little or no Internet censorship. However, increasing threats and violence against media outlets, reporters, and bloggers related to drugs and drug trafficking leads to self censorship by the press and by individuals. Broadband ISPs Topic <inaudible> ADSL ISPs that provide ADSL Telmex 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 started selling ISDN connections under the Prodigy Turbo brand name in the mid 90s the service was then replaced for a few years with ADSL connections sold under the Prodigy Infinitum brand name. ADSL is now being offered under the Telmex brand name directly. Terra – Terra also provided by Telmex under Terra brand. Alestra – Alestra Maxcom – Maxcom Cable Easy Telecom packages include TV, telephone, and Internet services. Megasable Megat available in more cities across the country. Telecable Cybersable. Topic FTTH Recently there's been a big push towards fiber in the three big cities in Mexico Mexico City, Guadalajara and Monterrey and they offer up to 100 megabits per second links, both synchronous and asynchronous. These services are being provided by Axtel Axtel Extremo EUCCEL EUCCEL Enlarchi Telmex Fibra Optica de Telmex Total play, total play. Topic WiMAX ISPs that provide WiMAX technology. AXTEL ISP Accesso Universal provided by AXTEL. AXTEL started selling WiMAX connections at the beginning of 2008. The service has been rebranded and named Accesso Universal. Topic Wireless Non-cellular Ego MMDS provided service in Monterrey, Guadalajara, Toluca and Mexico City until the Secretaria de Telecomunicaciones y Transportes revoked its license to operate the 2.5 GHz spectrum SuperNetmo provided service in Chetumal, Bacalar, Calderitas, Ypix and Xulha. Their website does not resolve to any server, and apparently the company no longer exists.
Ultranet 2 Go WiMAX provides service in Puebla, Tamaulipas, Veracruz and Aguascalientes, with plans ranging from $249 to $999 pesos. Topic wireless cellular. There are three network operator: Telcel, HSDPA+, HSPA+, AT&T Mexico, hybrid CDMA, GSM HSDPA, HSPA+ network, MovieStar, GPRS, Edge, 3G HSDPA+, and several MVNOs such as Virgin Mobile, Cierto, Wix, Allo, Flash Mobile, WeMobile, MazTiempo, and Cubacel. Topic: Internet censorship. Mexican law provides for freedom of speech and press, and the government generally respects these rights in practice. There are no government restrictions on access to the internet or credible reports that the government monitors email or internet chat rooms. Individuals and groups can engage in the expression of views via the internet, including by email. The OpenIT initiative found no evidence of Internet filtering in 2011. Mexico was classified as «partly free» in the Freedom on the Net 2011 report from Freedom House. Transnational criminal organizations TCOs exercise an increasing influence over media outlets and reporters, at times directly threatening individuals who published critical views of crime groups. As citizens increasingly use social media websites such as Twitter and Facebook to obtain and share drug-related news, violence against the users of these sites is rising dramatically. The threats and violence lead to self-censorship in many cases. Two states introduced new restrictions on the use of social media. In August 2011 Veracruz officials arrested Gilberto Martinez Vera and Maria de Jesus Bravo Pagola for allegedly spreading rumors of violence on Twitter. They were released following protests from civil society groups, but the state created a new public disturbance offense for use in similar cases in the future. Similarly, the state of Tabasco outlawed telephone calls or social network postings that could provoke panic. Civil society groups feared that the laws could be used to curb freedom of expression online. On September 24, 2011, police in Nuevo Laredo found the headless body of a female journalist who wrote on TCO activity on Primera Hora de Nuevo Laredo newspaper and as an online blogger under the pseudonym of La Nina de Laredo. Laredo Girl. Two other Nuevo Laredo based bloggers were allegedly tortured and killed by TCOs in September and November, again in retaliation for posting comments on the Internet about local drug cartels. In May 2009, the Mexican Federal Electoral Institute IFE, asked YouTube to remove a parody of Fidel Herrera, governor of the state of Veracruz. Negative advertising in political campaigns is prohibited by present law, although the video appears to be made by a regular citizen, which would make it legal. It was the first time a Mexican institution intervened directly with the Internet. In 2014, the Mexican government proposed the new telecommunication law, which, if approved, would seriously cripple the right of users to have free uncensored Internet in similar ways to the SOPA and ACTA laws. This initiative was received with public outrage. 